hot shot baba a very merry christmas to you all hope you all uh, prosper through this christmas hope you all, hope santa gives you good gifts i hope you are not on the naughty list <laughs> remember that time when i was uh, taking the z9 video of unboxing the z9 well this time i am unboxing the lens for it nikon lens 500 mm prime Let me talk to you more about it on the sofa, and uh, let me try one of those sick transitions. Oh, before we do the sick transition, please like and subscribe to the video, and share it with your friends. Okay, now for the transition. Ah, oh, I think the transition was good. Okay, so let's start with the unboxing. Also, just um, just saying. This was the lens I used to use before with my D7500 camera, <clears throat> and um, for the Z9 camera, I used to use the same lens, or I used to use this lens if I had rented it. But I need an adapter because Z lenses and D lenses are different, and this is a D lens, and it can't go with the Z camera, Z series camera. So it's actually meant for this, but you can do it with an adapter. It doesn't take away any quality or anything like that. <coughs> okay, let's start. It's just so cool removing the camera, removing the camera after a long time. Okay, so this is the lens. This is the strap, and these are the instructions. Very important for the first month. Then you can throw them. Also, I just wanted to show you all. Merry Christmas. This is it, guys. This is it. I love this zip, double zip concept. This is the lens hood, and this is the lens. Let's not waste any more time. This is it, guys. It is the Nikon uh, Prime 500 mm lens. It has PF and VR and ED. Um, and the F value uh, max max lowest is 5.6. Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's hold. Just try to open later. How does it matter? Okay, so this is it, guys. I finally got in it. Instead of renting, we can just use this instead. Okay, so first I'll attach it to my old camera. We'll see how to attach it. You have to remember. You have to join the white box together first. That was for your camera. There you go. It's attached. It looks like this. And with the hood on, the hood actually has some very cool features. I'll tell you about it later. So now the hood is now the hood is locked. It means you can't open it again like this. You have to press this button, hold it, and then open it. It's so cool, now. Nah? Okay. 
okay so that is how it looks with the lens but uh, sadly you can't do the same thing this way because it's it's just not allowed i don't know why. okay so now i'll be telling you about the settings of, of the lens over here So firstly, the AM, MA really doesn't matter whichever one you're putting it in but just don't keep it on manual unless you really know what you're doing and you can manually focus. Uh, keep this on full. Then this is for, uh, um, th this is uh, for bird, opt uh, bird photography optimization for the lens. I would recommend the focus to be on AM because then automatic comes first instead of manual so it is well faster to register automatic um, then keep the VR on spot because you never know if you're gonna take a bird in flight then what will you do you can either keep it on normal or spot but I don't recommend keeping it off unless you have a very good sturdy tripod um, then music you always want off, you don't want the no, lens to be making some sounds. Then this memory, I don't really know, I think you should just keep it as default, AFL. And, and the second setting you should always keep in full so that the focus doesn't get, you know, cramped. It doesn't get limited. Well, that's it for the lens settings. Okay, so guys, now uh, I know there is a little color difference because I've changed to my other camera. So because I was recording the Z9, now I'm going to uh, attach the Z the Z9 to this lens. But first, we'll have to attach attach it to the adapter. So remove it carefully. Remember to remove the side that says Z mount first, not F mount, because then it, something could go wrong. Attach the white dots and then attach it into place. Great, now the Z, uh, the F mount. It looks a little longer than the before one because of this adapter. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Now how it looks with the hood. Oh, I forgot to mention in my previous one that it does lock but there is a certain way to do it for backwards. You have to, you have to attach the made in wherever. <coughs> Mommy, don't watch this video. You have to attach the maiden, uh, maiden whatever, to the white dot over here, and you have to turn it that side, and then it gets oh, well, kind of locked. Wait, <laughs> yeah, we we'll, we'll just do it then, this way for now. There we go, it's locked. This is how it looks with the lens hood, it looks way cooler. And how it looks without the lens hood, looks okay. Thanks guys, please like and subscribe. And remember, I have many more videos coming. Like, um, I'll put many pictures of birds, like, you know, many bird pictures. I've gone to many heights during the, uh, the, during the part where I didn't post. And I forgot to make the video for that because, well, I had exam. Let's see. Please like and subscribe and um, share this video with your friends. Thank you guys. I hope this helped you unbox the new F-Lens. Thank you.